cutting fabric with your boss cut gazelle. Welcome to my tutorial. Begin by removing your paper back from your fusible web and placing your material on your mat. Smooth out and then I use my spatula to get out any air bubbles because if you have air bubbles or a little part sticking up uh, it could drag the blade and you messed up your piece of fabric talking from experience so it's nice and smooth I set up the blade bring it to the corner and as you can see I'll zoom in for you I'm right on the edge then I just hit start and I begin cutting out my fabric see where it pulled up a little bit must have been a little air bubble and once it's safe I will smooth that out just in case there's another cut in that area but with no air bubbles and nice and smooth, you can see how well this cuts. There's no dragging. There's no frayed edges. It cuts really nice. So once this is completed, the blade returns to starting position. I move the mat forward. And you can see how easily it removes, but yet it's still very tacky. And all the tulip leaves are now cut. And I just use my spatula, pull them off, just like they were paper. Except these don't tear. <laughs> and now we're going to move on to the yellow part of the tulip. These are very delicate, and I wasn't too sure how well this was going to handle with the gazelle. But, of course, it did a beautiful job, and I can't wait to show you. These are so tiny that um, I really thought the material was going to lift and drag and cut up. But look how just smoothly it goes across. It's cutting out, there's three of them in this piece of fabric. And um, it's done. So it should return to the start position. Oop, there we go. Return to start position. And we'll forward up the, the mat so you can see. And we'll remove the fabric. And you've got to see how tiny these are. Each square is one inch. So you can get a good idea that that's under an inch. And they're so, the stems and the roundness are all cut out beautifully. No misshape, no fraying. Now we're on to the tulips which you know have points and roundedness in them and again using the spatula make sure you get out the air bubble especially when you're cutting out larger pieces because it has a tendency to lift too so just keep smoothing it down and here we go we start with the tulip there's three tulips on this in this project two smalls and a, a large and I'm, I'm sorry about the camera shaking, but I just wanted you to see that there's no dragging. It's just cutting it out beautifully. Forward the mat again. And watch how this just peels. It's amazing. Look at that. And they just stuck right there. The mat is fairly sticky. In the fusible web, when you peel back the paper, it just seems to make it stick to the mat much better than the paper. I used to use the paper, leave it on, but uh, I was scraping it off the mat all the time, and I just got tired of that. Now we're going to do the stems. The stems are amazing. There's, even though they're just long straight lines, they're, they're small. And I would think, you know, it would just tear being so tiny. But here we are, we're cutting out all three stems. This is the final fabric of the project. We'll bring the mat forward for you. And look at this. They just peel right off. And look at that. Those are inch squares, mind you. Yeah, my mat's pretty beaten up. And each one of those is only a quarter inch. Thank you for watching my tutorial on the applique tulips. You can purchase these at bosscutdiecut.com. For more great ideas using your Boss Cut Gazelle scrapbook cutter, please visit my website, scrappyquilts.blogspot.com.